once you open NX10 click on new choose the unit sheet metal and then name folder and all click OK now to do uh, ed to edit the settings click on file under preference click on sheet metal so you will get a new dialog box with uh, menus like part properties flat pattern treatments call out configuration sheet metal validation flat pattern display etc first we will be editing part properties under part properties you can see parameter entry under parameter entry there are three methods of entering the parameters one is value value entry second is material selection third is tool se tool ID selection in value entry you will be manually manually editing all the global parameters such as material thickness bend radius relief depth relief width then bend definition method also you will be entering under uh, material selection you will be selecting all the materials in the library you can select any of the materials in the library and under tool ID selection you will be uh, selecting the material based on the press tool which you have so I'm going to explain you uh, first the value entry click OK if you want to edit anything I'm keeping it as it as default and click OK going to create the first feature you can see that since I have did a setting uh, for, against thickness as 3mm here automatically it has come 3 click OK now this thickness is 3mm and if you want to change the settings go on and edit the value it's 5mm click apply you can see that now the thickness has changed now we'll be adding a flange feature click OK relief depth means the distance from this edge radius to the this face so that depth is 3 mm and relief width is 3 mm here click OK these are the defaults which we have set go to sheet metal you can see the difference when I do the editing here the main use of this uh, sheet metal setting is one assume we have lot of bends created for a, a part and you cannot individually go and edit it so the best part is to do the uh, enter the value in the settings and click apply the entire part gets edited the next is um, the bend definition method as I explained in the side this is the K factor you can choose any uh, K factor based on the material you want next bend definition method is bend table where this uh, bend table and all is already defined and uh, fully cataloged in in the folder location which I have mentioned in the slide next is bent elements formula if you have a different formula you can always enter the different formula and do the calculations this is the k, uh, k value here 
next uh, we are going to see the material selection based on the we will be picking a material from the material library if we do that many of the parts except this relief depth and width will be set finally we can only edit relief depth and width for that selecting the material from the library click the radio button material selection and click on select material you can find so many materials here and once you select this material you can see the uh, fields and all are already set and click OK now you can see that we cannot edit the material uh, value bent radius value neither a neutral factor bent table anything we cannot edit it we can edit only relief depth and width now the question is how to edit uh, how you want, you can save your own uh, uh, material how you can create your own material library for that I have uh, mentioned the uh, location where this uh, part library is the text library is located I'll show you how to do it.